Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance Product Expert. Today, we're gonna to show you how to connect your Android phone and your iPhone to the new Lowrance HDS Live so that you can get your phone calls and your text messages to pop up on the screen. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get our weekly YouTube updates. Okay guys, the great thing about this, we're gonna start off talking first about the Android phones and what comes up on your screen and what kind of functionality you get. So what's great about this is when you're out on the boat, a lot of times you wanna put your phone away and put it in a compartment where it's gonna stay dry and out of the weather and won't get wet or knocked over the boat and things like that. So what you can do is you can, via Bluetooth, you can connect your phone to your HDS Live unit. So now if you get an incoming call, it's gonna pop up on the screen and show you who's calling and then you can decide whether or not you want to take that phone call. Um, if you get a text message, the great part about that is, is the text message. It's going to pop up on the screen so you can read the text message that somebody has sent to you. Now also, if you have an Android phone, you can actually key in a message back to that person or we can have some quick responses pre-programmed in there that you can just hit that and send off to them. So those are some of the great features that you get out of this. Number one, it keeps your phone safe and dry and out of the way. Uh, the only problem is, is if the wife calls, you can't say I didn't see you calling. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got my Galaxy Note 8 right here. We're gonna connect this via Bluetooth to this HDS Live unit so that my messages and phone calls and stuff like that pop up on the screen. So how we do that is we're gonna start off by pressing the Pages button on our HDS Live unit. We're gonna go to Settings, and then we're gonna go down to wireless. Now with the wireless there, we need to turn on Bluetooth. As you can see, it's turned off, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and it tells us it's initializing. Now that my Bluetooth is turned on, we hit Bluetooth options and it's gonna start looking for devices. You can see it sees my power poles. Okay, so now you can see in my Bluetooth options, it has found my phone, so now I'm gonna select my phone and I'm gonna tell it to pair. Okay, so it asked me to make the confirmation. I'm gonna say okay on my phone. I'm gonna say okay on the unit. So now my phone is paired with the unit and we're gonna make the connection. I hit connect. Okay, so it says, do I wanna allow access to the messaging? I'm gonna say yes, I want to allow that. And it's gonna ask if it wants to allow access to the contacts. Again, I'm gonna say allow that because if I don't allow it access to my messaging and my contacts, then when I get a text message or a phone call, it's not gonna display on my screen. So now that we've made that connection, go ahead and just kinda of come over here and we'll go down to phone and we'll look at the phone. As you can see, it's gonna show the messages and calls and stuff like that there. You can see I got some messages. Some friends are telling me that they're gonna be in probably Sunday and stuff like that. So I know we're connected. So now if I get a text message, I'm gonna set my phone up here on the dash. When I get a text message, as you can see, it tells me I've got a new message on the screen. And David Johnson wants to know how the phishing is. Now the cool thing about an Android phone is I can touch this message and I can say reply. And I can actually send him a reply right now, one of these already made up, or I can go for a blank message and I can actually type in messages. Telling them that we're hooked up on a fish right now, and then I hit send. And now that message goes out to David. So that is like one of the awesome features that you can do with an Android phone when it's connected by Bluetooth to your HDS Live unit. Okay, so now you guys see, have seen how the text messaging works on this, which again, with the Android, it's really great because you can message back and forth without having to pull your phone out of whatever safe place you've got it in. Now, if somebody were to give me a call, it pops up on the screen. Now I can see David Johnson's calling. Now the real question is, do I wanna to talk to David right now or is the fishing really good and I'll call him back later? Uh, the fishing's really good right now, so I'm just gonna say close and that'll give him a message that says, you know, basically it's like rejecting a phone call. So he knows I'm not gonna pick up. And now when I get a chance later, I can grab my phone out of wherever I have it and give him a call back. But I've seen on the screen that he's called me and if it's something really important, or like I'm waiting for a phone call or a message. Uh, maybe your wife's pregnant and getting ready to have a baby and you're out fishing because she hasn't gone into labor yet. 
she can give you a call and it'll pop up right there on the screen and you know you gotta go. Okay guys, now I've got an iPhone here and we're gonna show you how to connect your iPhone to the Lowrance HDS Live unit so that you can also get your text messaging and your phone calls. Now there's a few differences like we talked about with the Android. One of the major differences with the iPhone is the fact that you cannot reply to messages directly from the unit. Uh, if you want to reply to the message, you're going to have to dig your phone out and make the phone call or the text message. So again, the basic settings are the same. You hit Pages, Settings. We're going to go to Wireless. And we're going to look at the Bluetooth options. And we're going to see if we can find our phone. Our Bluetooth is on. It hasn't shown up yet. We'll give it a minute. Okay, so now that we've got the Bluetooth on, we've gone to discover the phone. You can see David Johnson's iPhone shows up here. So we're gonna hit that there and we're gonna say pair. And we're gonna get a confirmation on the pairing. So we'll say pair here and we'll say okay here. So do we wanna allow the contacts and favorites to sync? We're gonna say allow. Okay, so now that we've done all that, there's one more thing we wanna do. As soon as our Live 12 shows up here, we're going to go to the right hand side to the information button. We're going to hit that and again now you can see show notifications has popped up. We're going to say turn that on to allow it and now we're going to hit connect again. Now you can see the connection has been made to this phone. Okay, so now that our phones are connected and we've told it we want to show notifications and things like that, I can put my phone away and if I get a text message, I can decide if I want to answer that. So I got a text message asking where the fish are today. Now if I want to be a nice guy, I can tell them where they are or I could just send my standard reply. Now to send the message reply, I'm going to have to get my phone out to send that. And I will reply to that message with my standard message in the water. So I will send that on because uh, that's usually what I tell people when they ask me where the fish are. So now I will end to bet he's going to be persistent and give me a phone call. I can hear my phone ring. I see the pop up on the screen. It tells me I have an incoming call and it tells me who it's from. So I can decide whether or not I want to answer that. Uh, to answer that, I'm going to have to get my phone out, but I'm just going to decline that call right now because I'm a little busy fishing. So then you just hit X on the screen, it goes back to your normal screen, and you're ready to continue. So if I get another text message or I get a phone call, it's going to pop up on my screen. Again, with the iPhones, you cannot respond to those messages directly from the unit. You'll have to get your phone back out to send a text message back to the person or to answer the phone call. Um, and with the Android, you can respond from the unit to the text message, but you will have to get your phone out to answer the phone call or make a phone call. So guys, in a nutshell, that's how the call notification and message notification on the HDS Live works. Now remember, we've tested this with a bunch of different brands of phones, but there's so many phones out there we're not 100% sure that every phone is compatible. So compatibility will vary based on the model of phone that you have. Don't forget guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the link to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get our weekly video updates.